name is Marissa and, and I, my name is Kayla and this is Marissa and Kayla's cooking show. We cook it and eat it so you don't have to. Today we're going to be doing a nice little recipe known as the simple cicada. Basically you can consider it cicada pasta. BTW, we're doing this for Rhett and Link. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Shout out to Rhett and Link. The guys are doing this for. Okay. The water's boiling and we're gonna add the cicadas. So I'm gonna get them out of here and hopefully they're all still frozen. Hopefully. I was feeling really like energetic up until this point. <laughs> Why couldn't we have just poured them right into the. Oh my god, I'm getting my knife! Oh! Chance! Oh my god, I'm my knife! Oh! She's holding a really big knife right now. You chance for them, right? <laughs> oh my god, she's going to have a knife! Oh my god! 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 Kill them! Kill them! They're waking up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Die! 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 Marissa! Marissa! There's another bag. You just pour those right in that pot, okay? <gasps> okay. You just pour those right in the pot. <laughs> okay, just hurry up, go. Join your brethren. Join them! <laughs> that should not smell that bad. Oh, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, that's dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Go die. Right. And that is how you put cicadas in a pot. <laughs> and that was... That was totally not over yet. And that's not a fake knife! <laughs> When you hear that noise, it means five minutes have passed, which is how long you need to boil your cicadas for. And you can now open the pot and safely remove Ooh. them because they're now healthy and good to eat. And dead. And dead. Very dead. You get out your trusty strainer and you get it ready to put your cicadas in. You take the pot. Marissa, can you do this? Don't look him in the eye. Wait, wait, let's get a beautiful action scene of that. Ready, go! And then you just pour them all into the strainer. And now, they sh the little buggers should be very, very, very dead. And if they are not, I will kill them again. Is that all of them? Okay. So, now that you've cooked your bugs, it's time to cut your bugs. De-wing them and de-leg them because those are really big choking hazards. So, oh my gosh, just dra grab them. You're going to eat one soon. Okay. This is a cicada. Yes, I think we all know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll hold one thing. You hold the other and I'll tear. <laughs> Don't use this method. That is the head, wings, body, or head upper body, eyes, everything of a skater you don't want. That is what you want. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks way more appetizing. And actually, you know, we, we've started doing this up quite a bit. That does not look that bad. I mean, honestly, I, 
don't know if it's just me, but it's not looking as bad as I thought it, it would. It just kind of looks like really black seafood. It does. It looks like shrimp that was like in an oil spill. And really tiny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is just boil some water to cook your pasta in. Now, what we're going to use is um, some mini penne. You can buy this at any grocery store because it tastes good and everyone likes pasta. Okay, so we've finished uh, with the cutting up and the de-winging and legging and heading of the cicadas. So, this is what you will get that you know you don't want to eat, okay? It looks disgusting. That and Here's a nice, beautiful what we have left over. It's so, much prettier. Yes, it's much more appetizing looking, but I'm still kind of feeling a little sick to my stomach by this one. You need a knife? Use a spatula. To the pan. Add in your cicadas. <laughs> yep, just pour them on. It should work fine. Also, make sure to add plenty of that basil. Oh my gosh. What? Spitting all over the place. Okay, it's actually starting to smell like actual food now. So let, like, honestly, I wish you could smell through YouTube. It's really good. Okay, here you go. This is what it looks like. Mm. It's kind of burnt. We kind of did that. We accidentally. It's okay, the burn will smash the smell of the cicadas. Okay. Burrito. That's then good. You just, she has a burrito. You just pour that into the pasta. But are we done yet? Uh, okay. I assume not, because you asked that question. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do, after you have all your cicada goodness in here, then you just pour that in too. No measurements, just pour. <laughs> pour it in. Whatever looks good to you probably is pretty okay. Then again, we are eating cicadas. And they don't exactly look good. They just look good. I mean, they look pretty good now, actually. Then, we're starving. Then, you take the paddles and you just <coughs> stir it all in is your pasta. Mm. I'm, on that. I'm sorry, pasta. Cicada ax action. Axton. Cicada action. Can we also have some drinks? Because I have a thing where I forget how to swallow. I'm not kidding. If you ever see me when I'm eating, like, eat, like freak out and slam the table and throw myself backwards, it's okay. I just forgot how to swallow. You've never seen me do this. It's like, no kidding. Anyway, oh, slam the table and back. I, I don't know what it is. I forget how to swallow. I swear. I believe you. For now. <laughs> yes. We don't even have to eat it all, honestly. Honestly. I mean, the challenge was one cicada. We just made a cooking show. I think this is pretty good. Okay. She's late again. Sorry, Marissa. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so late. Kayla. So this is it. This is the big meal that we've all been waiting for this entire video. <laughs> the way to a woman's heart is through a worm's anus, but you know the way to Red Link's heart is through a cicada, anus, and everything. Okay. <sighs> We're going to start <laughs> soft, <laughs> nice and carefully. Okay. I'm going to eat my bread a little. Okay. No I'm going I'm going to take a single bite of this single piece of pasta oh that was God. not touching a cicada. Oh God. I can taste the garlic and the butter. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we should put stuff in our mouth and then put the cicada in. Like a pill? Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, like I said, put put the pill in the pudding. Let's not call them cicadas. <laughs> Yes! They are small meat friends! <laughs> Hello, small 
all meat friends. We're going to eat you. <laughs> all right. Let me get a mm -hmm. nice horror choke. Let's just put a bunch in our mouth <laughs> and then. Oh, and you don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. <laughs> Let me just swallow the whole thing and just. Okay. Okay. <laughs> take some Ready? Time. One minute. Oh my god. No, the a nice garlic. small one. There's a tiny one. I'm gonna eat that one. Oh wait, okay, yeah. Put pasta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't fill it too much. You're not gonna be able to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your skin is gonna be as front of your mouth and you're gonna spit it out. You should have got a trash can just in case. Is that ready? No, we're gonna do it. You're gonna swallow it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, right? Mm-hmm. It's still in my mouth, but I can only taste the pasta now. No, just just swallow, honey. <laughs> Saying, honey. No, I mean like I have too much pasta in my mouth, like that's all. So full. It's actually not that bad, you can't taste it. All you taste is garlic. They're garlic bugs. <laughs> no, they're our small meat friends. Don't forget how to small. I do that often. You know, they're probably gonna want a close up on our mouths just to make sure that we're gonna have to get another one. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's okay. Is it done? Mm, half of it. Oh, yeah. oh did you, you picked a small piece, right? Which scares me the most. <laughs> just swallow. Okay. I just face down. You really wanna look into these mouths. Let's see. With a half eaten half of a cicada. No, no, not half eaten. Just as they put it into our mouth. Just so that they make sure. You really can't tell whether you're eating garlic or cicada. You're gonna have to do this too. I oh, know. If I eat two, you have to eat two. Okay. That's how it goes. Okay. I'm going to prove to you that I actually eat a cicada. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to eat another cicada. Do you love me, Kayla? I do. I'm doing this for you, you know. I know. I'm doing it for them and you're doing it for me. Yeah. Ah! Sorry. Okay. Come on. Let me just... Okay, whenever you're ready. Yeah. It just tastes like butter and garlic. Oh, it's so weird. It's like you can't even taste the cicada. It's because we put, like, half a stick of butter in there. And like three cloves of garlic. And I don't even know how much basil. There we go. As you can see, I have legitimately eaten cicada butts. Oh. <laughs> I mean, my small meat friends. Okay. The one that I can see. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. See that puppy? I'm zooming up on your face. Ready? Yep. I am placing Zed meat friend into Zed bread. Okay. Holding it up. Oh, hear that cicada. Meat chirp, friend. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I think they're still chirping. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Put a little butter on you. Don't eat me! <laughs> I love how you did so refined and you just freak out. I was the one that was like all excited for this. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So, Kayla, how has eating a cicada made you rethink your life? It's made me definitely rethink the thought of eating bugs because with all honesty, that wasn't that horrible. I mean, I only gagged 
You forgot how to swallow more than off. But I think it was for a worthy cause because Rhett and Link told us to do it. Plus, I'm really so glad. If, uh, so if Rhett and Link told you, Kayla, go and jump off a cliff and you'll get a free poster signed by us, you would jump off a cliff <laughs> and take a video. Um, I would find some loopholes and then I would do it. Do you want to ask me a question? Oh, sure. Okay. Um, so how has Ink Cicadas made you rethink your life? Well, it's definitely made me think about the fact that I sort of value my friends' lives over my own life, and how I should probably value my own life a little bit more, because if I don't, um, I don't know, that's a bad idea. It's a pretty bad idea. But it makes me realize how and much it turns me into a stalker. It does. You said stalker right as I put my Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Awkward moments in life. Awkward moments in life. Also, I've also rethought about eating bugs. Because mm -hmm. honestly, this wasn't bad at all. No. Well, you went out there who don't. It just like tasted like, like butter. And garlic. And garlic. A lot burned of garlic. garlic. A lot of burned garlic. <laughs> Don't burn your garlic. Yeah. I don't that is the one lesson you need to take away from this, people. Never burn your garlic. Mm -hmm. What did we learn today? Don't, don't burn, burn garlic! garlic. <laughs> that should be the end. Yeah.